okay so welcome or welcome back to btide in this video we are going to make a uh, player storage on eos and this is a very useful tool and one of my most problematic videos because it was hell of a ride to figure out how this thing works but finally it's here and now the main use case of this is for inventories or storing data where you want like to know what level the user is on you cannot store that as a statistics you want to store that uh, as some a different type of thing in a database you maybe it's a string or maybe it's a inventory and you want to store that and this system is so easy to work with and i hope you would have used the safe data system so the saved safe data system uh, basically is that you create a safe file and you store the inventories and all the data you want locally on it so what it does is you can you take this data uh, saved local data to the eos and then use it in your game i will be going on and showing everything and as you can see the preview i stored the data i got the data back from the and so basically we have a saved data which has a random integer in this case it was 800 and then we get the data back by deleting the local data and we check it it's 800 on the cloud also and it's stored on uh, the eos platform so you can check that from the website itself so that is it uh let's now just get started and yeah move on okay so let's now just get started uh, I don't know anything else to say. Yeah, so let's don't waste time. Yeah, so uh, let's close the engine itself for now and go to game instance and create two new functions. We created, yeah, these two yesterday. So let's create below them and we can just copy these. Uh, it's taking a, minute, a few minutes. So we need four functions, uh, to be honest. Firstly is convert save file to uh, convert saved file to uint. Then just copy this. Uh, we will check the in thing uh, like this inner thing later. Let's firstly make all the functions one more copy and one more copy now the second thing is convert uint to save file so i believe you know the say what is a save file uh -huh. so it will be holding everything and then we need to and this will return a uh, uint a so this should return you save file and this thing should return so let's just make this so you save game so this should return uh, convert unit uint to save file so this should return you you save game and what we need to take as in uh, input is basically uh, t array of uint8 and the value would be a uh, We can just name this array. Let's not think that much. And here we will have to take, we will have to give out uint a. So we will make t array uint eight, and input would be u save game saved game. Now these two are done and here we will convert them to uh now we have converted save the file to ui okay so we need to add a star here uh pointer let me just add yeah so now we have converted both now what we need to do is convert game file to uint we need to change this to uh upload uh, player data and here we need to make it get player data so now we have all the functions which we need we have convert save file uh, we have convert uint file and both are this is taking 
and this is taking as a t array ui int input and it's converting that input to the, a save file and this is taking a u save a save game object and is converting it to ui int t array and we will be saving and getting the data and now when we get the data so uh, for getting the data no sorry for uploading the data what we need to do is we need two things firstly is the file name which will be an f string and this should be file name and the next thing should be ui i uh, a t array of uint and name this array reference and here get player data we just need the file name for now so we get this file name and done now let's start working so let's first work on convert save file to uint so we will create a generate definition for this and yeah so we will firstly check if the save game is valid and if it is valid then what we will do is we will call u gameplay statistics and then convert uh sorry it's not u game uh, statistics i think it was saved let me just verify with my code No, no, it's use uh, you gameplay statistics only and then we will just make it uh, We have to convert it to UINT So We will search for memory and yeah, we have two things uh, Load game from memory and save game to memory. So basically what save game to memory is you can check it changes your you save game object into a T array. So we need the save game to array a uh, memory and then the you save game gameplay object is basically the save game which we get saved game and then the second thing is out save array so let's create a local array t array of uint8 uh, uint8 objects and name this local array and we save the value to local array After the value has been saved, we will just return local array. Let's do one thing. Take it out from here. And we will return the local array from below. So we can remove this and we don't need. So basically if it is empty, then we will just return it empty. Or if it is the save game is valid, we will convert this to memory and uh, return the local new local array and this will return the uh, unt8 array now next we need to make a function for this now we need to make a local u save object u save game local object now we will check if the array is empty if the array is not empty also so we need to add a exclamation mark here so if the array is not empty we will get the local object oh sorry we will get the u gameplay statistics and we will make load game from memory and here we will pass in the save data that is the array that we got uh, array is this one this array and we will save it to this local object uh, So we can directly save it, right? So yes, we can directly save it. We can just set this to Local object is equal to you gameplay statistics Now we just return the local object And now we have uh, we have converted everything so now we can save and load the data so now we get this upload player data 
generate definition for this so uh, if the array reference is not empty that means this thing has some data in it and it is not empty we will call uh, we need to call a few things uh, basically we need a reference of all the data so what we can do is we can copy uh, this part from here yeah and i believe we also need the identity reference so we also need to copy the identity thing so let's copy this also and yeah we will have to copy this also and after we get this we will just check yeah we will check if identity pointer reference is valid and then we will close the brackets now identity pointer reference is valid then we will call i online user cloud pointer and we will get the cloud pointer reference and i usually call it complete so i i pointer reference and we will get the subsystem reference and get user cloud interface now we will check if the cloud pointer reference is valid and if the uh, cloud pointer reference is valid we will upload uh, the files from here so i, I just checked yeah 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 okay now we need to get this uh which we didn't get a start so if you have not followed that video no worries you can just copy this part from the screen i think yeah just copy no let it be just copy mm, no let's leave it leave it leave it sorry i remember we did that somewhere so let me just check okay let's do it again we will just copy this part this one and let me write the code for here so we will make a t shared pointer of const f unique uh what is the spelling of unique sorry i forgot unique net id and we call it user id reference which will be equal to identity pointer reference to get unique player id and we will get the zero and we will convert that to shared reference and after converting that we will just call cloud pointer reference and we will get write user file and we will pass in the pointer reference to uh, f unique net id that is the user id reference then we need to pass the file name so we have taken the file name from the user already so we will just pass the file name and then we will pass in the file content so the file content is the array reference and this way we pass in now we also need a uh, bind this to a array uh, bind this to a function so that we get the values back but before that let's create uh, sorry cloud pointer reference now we need to bind it before we run the write user function so remember that so uh, on write user file complete delegates dot add u object and we will pass this and we need to you know, now create a function for this now we really don't know what uh, inputs do we get back although i know because i have the code on my second screen which uh, basically i have already written for my plugin but uh, basically as a normal user if you are creating a plugin and you don't know what it returns so what we do is basically press f12 or show context options navigate to declaration 
So now you can check it returns a bool, it returns an f net unique ID and it returns an f string. Now, but why, why what does it that these value did tell us? So you can uh, check it describes uh, what does it do when uh, it is successful. So b this boolean is used for b successful like it was successful. This unique net ID gives us the unique user ID and this f string gives us the file name uh, whatever we were using. So let's go and uh, create a function. And we already have a lot of here. So we will create below this. We will just name this void on write file complete. And the first thing is uh, a bool. So we will pass boolean b success. Second is const f unique id. Uh, let me just check if what is this? yeah f unique net id unique net id and you can name this user id and then the third is f string uh, file name now let me just check yeah so basically file name is also constant so we can just pass in as a constant and we create a function for this now we can just copy this and put it along with the code where we have the other codes we have written so much code till now right and we have this on write file complete and here we bind it to this function so we will just add and you gameplay statistics oh sorry you us game instance and on write file complete now like yesterday's video where we made uh this again has giving me giving me some errors i don't know why is it uh although everything seems to be correct cons f unique and id oh okay so here it's uh, this and here too maybe this is the issue yeah it got solved so that's free now what we need to do is uh let's create a get uh, for getting the player data so now we have uploaded the player data now we need to get that player data so we will create a function for this and on getting player data we already have everything here so we can just copy this part mm, yeah this one and close the brackets for now we already have a unique player id reference so we will take this now we make a cloud pointer reference and we make on read user file complete and uh, we need a callback right yeah so add u object and we make this and then uh, we also need to make a delegate so let's go and check navigate to declaration and it also has three things and those are like the same things which we did before so in the dot h file we will just copy on write file complete and we will just name uh, on read file complete so here we will make uh you gameplay statics on read file complete and then cloud pointer reference read user file we will pass in the net id that is the user id reference uh, we need to start add a pointer then we need to name the file name so we will pass the file name now we will create a k on read file complete so now we have uh, on read file complete so firstly on the write file complete let's 
if we check if b success was true we print ue log log temp warning text uh, uploading file success file name s so we pass in the file name just to get uh, whether the file name was correct or not so we also add a star here yeah and on read file complete now the reading structure is something different let me just uh, check if i can bring it up so basically uh, we have this player data storage interface and if you check after we get a reading file data uh, they must have given an image yeah so after we read a file we are read a file data it tells us what the file name is and everything we now need to uh, get the data from the get the content whatever content the file contains from the blueprint uh, from like the like, like we need to now get the file content after we have the file and then we need to convert it to the save game object which we made just now so we need to uh, we can just close it i yeah yeah so this page is not that helpful i i don't know whether i should have shown that so yeah let me just close it useless <laughs> but yeah so now we need to read the file data uh oh sorry get the file content so if we make from here let me just write one thing uh, we make a cloud pointer reference and we make get file content so this will be used to get the file content and then pass in into a URA. So the process would be entirely same uh, after this function. Uh, where is it? Get player data. We will make one more function. Uh, this should not be blueprint callable because we don't need it blueprint callable and we don't need to like confuse the player. So uh, confuse you basically. So we remove blueprint callable and we name this read player data and now create a, a generated definition for this and here after the read file complete is there uh, let's change this read file complete to on get file complete and we also convert change this here on get file complete so the process is first we get the file and then we read it so on uh, on get file complete if it was success if the file was get file getting was success we pass in this file name uh, to this read player data so read player data and we pass in the file name now we also print ue log log temp warning text file data passed to new function for reading and now after we get uh, the read player data we will now try to read the data as the word itself says so let's copy this part here okay so we also need to change this on get file complete so now copy this part uh sorry this part yeah this part and put it on read player data now let me just close all brackets yeah and now you get the cloud pointer reference and read uh get the content get file content and pass in the user id pass in the file name that is this file name now we need to pass in the uh, file contents so this uh, this uh, variable will be holding all the file contents so what should we do uh, yeah create a local variable tra uint8 file 
contents and pass in this so okay so we have forgot to add a star yeah so now the file content has been pasted here in this variable now we need somehow to get this in blueprints so what we can do is uh, we create uh, we go in the dot h file and on top most we declare a dynamic delegate that is multicast delegate with one parameter or maybe two parameters two parameters and let's name this uh, file data f file data now the first parameter is parameter one type should be uh, f string then add this and then tell the name of the variable you want so we will name file name then we need the second as t array of uint8 and the, the name of the variable would be file contents and done now we need to create a variable for this f file data so you can just make a u property anywhere and make it f file data uh delhi gate for files you will understand this very quickly as soon as we do this uh, we get back to blueprints and now when we get that file data back we will got file local no sorry delegate for files dot broadcast and now we need to pass in the file name that is the file name and then the file contents and here it gets over I believe oh is it even recording yeah so now we run this up and uh, basically we would be going and doing a lot of things in blueprints now so it's not still over a lot of things to be done in blueprints so let's go and run it and check if we get any errors and all that okay so we got a single error uh, that is opera sorry potentially uninitialized local pointer variable local object is used and uh, uninitialized although i have something here and uh, let's do one thing uh, uh we return this value from here after this sorry uh, after this and also we pass this value from here so if now it will give an error because we have not covered other things so if it has a else statement we will return a null pointer null ptr so if it is valid uh, if it is not empty we will return local object else we will return a uh, we will not return a local object we will return a local uh, sorry null pointer now let's run so now the engine is opened up let's go to our main menu and add a button now for uploading the data structure so let's go on uh, let me just move this up a little bit and 55 now we need a save game object so we will go and create right click blueprint we search for save game and we will now write a bp save game and we open this up now we will make a local f string uh, sorry uh, f string variable and we will make uh, sorry <laughs> we will name call this random string 
we will make a random string variable so that we can check whether the string we are uploading and getting back is same or not or we can make it integer uh, that would be better no we will make it a string or integer would be better <laughs> random int and then in the main menu uh, we will change this to upload data and on clicked event we will uh, check if uh, we will check if save game object exists and we can name this random save if it exists uh, so if it doesn't exist so we will create a save game object for bp save and we will cast to or it is returning bp save right so we can just directly set a random integer on it and this random integer would be random integer in integer in range and we can make it 3000 and if you are making an making an inventory you can just save all the inventory items in this save game object create the variables create the inventory variable and things like that which i will show in the video ahead and then what we need to do is we will save game to slot and this is slot would be a random save and after this is done uh, we after this is done we will call uh, upload what did we call the function why is it not coming back up upload player data upload uh, player data player data get player data read player data and upload player data this one did we make a function yeah yeah everything is done oh okay sorry that's in blueprint game instance that's why so we will get the bp game instance convert it to pure cast and call upload player data and this requires a array reference now for getting array reference we will call convert uh we will call convert save file to int to uint and we will pass in this array and converting save game file save game file is this one and after it is converted we need to name this file name uh, give a file name here so we can name this let me just check yeah we can name this uh random safe server uh, taking eos as the server and the we also need to if we already have a ga save game object we need to now get that uh basically now if we are if it already exists we what we will do is we will uh, make delete game in a slot we will pass in random region now if you are making an inventory you don't need to do, do this and we will just pass and after we have uploaded it will give us something log log and now we need to get the data so we will just copy this
and we will name this get data and we will make a on clicked event uh, now what we need to do is we will get uh, we need to cast to game instance search for get player data get player data file name is what is it a uh, random save game so now this random save game will fire everything but we still need need the data right so what we will do is we will create a event construct and bind this create a binding we will first check if the game instance is valid or not of course it will be valid anyhow but we will still check and if it is valid we will bind event to uh, So I forgot to do one thing. Uh, let me just open the BP, uh, sorry, this C++ code. And here uh, where we make this F file data, we need to make it blueprint assignable category EOS Delhi gates and just save all. Now we need to reopen the project. So, or we can also just live compile. Okay, so now the build has successfully ended. Uh, let's now go and dun, 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 dun. we just bind this to now bind this bind event to delegate for files. Uh, we create a function, we create an event and we name this file data 6c and we print the file name just for verification and let's make it unique colored so that we get it when we are playing and we also now convert this we call convert sorry we need to get this and call convert uint to save file we get this save file and we make our return array we in the return array this would be uh now this return array will usually hold the value so after we have this so we can just cast to bp save game and we can just save game to slot so uh we will just get we will check uh let me just get this Mm. yeah we check this this part we will check if the save game exists this random save if it exists true then delete this uh, we will just delete it random delete and if it is false we will save game to slot you will understand what I'm doing uh, we will just save this and a slot would be a random sip and this way we have every data user id is same and now after this is completed we will print the data what we got from there we will get from this bp save game we will get random integer and we will check if it is same as usual or not we will make this red uh, maybe yellow and let's make it 355 seconds and here also when we upload the data before uploading the data let's check what is the value of 
this random integer. And we also put this to 355 seconds and let's put this to W. Now everything is ready. Oh, okay. So by file content and nothing would be returned. So we will just go here and I believe we need to add a constant here and a and, and everything is not done. So let's let me just open the engine and close this now and reopen the engine. So now uh, the engine is open. Let's go and test this uh, out. Oh, let me just open the widget and check if the error is gone. It should be gone, uh, but still, let me just check. So yeah, the error is gone. It's successfully compiling. And let me just log in with the OS. And I have logged in. So it should come here. EOS success. And let me just open Chrome. Oh, sorry. I pressed on the wrong button. Uh, no, I don't want to show anything or else I would be gone. Yeah. So now the login has like, nice, 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 nice. Thank God it's only Reddit for now. And now opening EOS. So yeah, here it is EOS game project, game services, operations, and we get in the, uh, where is it? Progression, I think, yeah, player data storage. And here is my ID, I will just search. So we have three things here, but these are from yesterday when I was trying to create this video. So let's go and test this out. I will press on upload data. So the random number which is taken is 800 and the uploading file success file name is random save server. Now I will reload. And now we have random save server. Now I will try and it says 800. Now I will try to get the data. It says 800 and it gives us the name of the, that is the random file data. And uh, yeah, we get the value correctly. So 800, 800, uh, you can check these two out and you can even check, uh, you can even convert it. It, yeah, so basically it is 1.48 KBs. And these three are just late level related to bad journey. And but we have finally successfully did what we wanted. So how would you go about creating an inventory with it? I will not be going and creating a full fledged inventory for this. But let me just show you how you can do that. Uh, let me just close this and bring this down. And yeah. So what you can do is everything uh, I will share a few videos and uh, I have made a few in videos on inventories. You can follow those. So in the same save game uh, object, you can create variables exactly the same way as game instance holds. So you can have one instance you are having an inventory variable, which is storing the classes for all the actors you have. So what you need to do is you just make an inventory variable here and make it uh, classes uh, for actor. So we will make and search for an actor class and class reference. Now this is usually a array. So this will hold everything, whichever, whatever you want. And uh, th whenever like you update it whenever you want in the game. And when the user is about to leave, what you now need to do is when the user is about to leave, 
you just check if random save is valid and if it is not create a random save uh, create this save game object and put all the values in it taking from the game instance or from the player blueprint wherever you are storing the inventory variable currently take the inventory variable from it uh, and set it to here so basically just set inventory and pass your current inventory and then just convert it and upload it and when the next time player opens it opens the game just call this get player data which will return the data uh, the file name and the content you convert it to the save file get the save file and now save it to a slot and whatever value you want to get it get from it you can get it so like i can just get uh, uh and we can get the inventory from here now but you don't need to make calls again and again to get the inventory right after you have opened the game if your game is not like if you don't want to make 100 calls to get the inventory what you can do is now after saving this to slot you can just get the slot value from uh you can just load game from slot anytime uh without calling the server so that's why we are even saving it to locally and then when you have this you just cast to sorry you just cast to save game and get the inventory locally uh sorry get inventory yeah and this will store the current value also so that is it for this video uh a really mindy mind eating video i have spent a hell lot of time on eos now even without anything so hope this adds a value to your life and thank you hit on that button if you can and bye bye thank you once again yeah uh, where is the button for ending